support Pro Play Games on Patreon. What is up, guys? Welcome to the battle series here uh, for the Digimon card game. This is going to be the first time we debut a battle series on YouTube. So this is going to be a free version of what you would normally expect on the Patreon. Make sure you guys check us out. Support us on there. It really helps pay wonderful players like Danny and some of our other team members here on the Digimon team to produce high-quality content if you guys really want to take this game seriously or want to stay up to the, you know, up to date with the game or yeah. maybe considering getting into it you know no for sure so um yeah today's matchup is going to be purple metal guru uh versus what are you playing rookie rush and you topped with this deck didn't you yeah top 16 at the carta magica event nice so if you guys want to see that deck list and my deck list as well make sure you guys check that out on the patreon we're gonna have free versions on the youtube because we want to give you guys some free content make it available to all of you but the free content will also be posted on patreon but then we'll have the more in-depth analytical comprehensive breakdown so make sure you guys check that out and support us as always so let's do it let's big do old it. die roll let's see who goes first got a two i got a two. Oh my god no way all right uh i got a three let's go let's, let's get a four go. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. all right all right so he's gonna be taken first here right. uh by the way guys if you want to buy this beautiful digimon mat i think we're sold out right now but normally you can get it on proplaygames.com very beautiful mat um just very simple i like it because it's not nothing crazy going on oh my god i always look at these top five. i'm actually gonna draw these five i'm sorry because i saw them i don't want to have any type of information on it but yeah security first and then drawing guys i'm just so used to mulligan games right? oh yeah <laughs> All right, so he's playing Rookie Rush, and he's going first. So this is the boogeyman right now. You don't know. I could break. You can. I could draw I mean, no I rookies. I mean, is that possible? I've I mean, seen it. I've seen it happen. <laughs> what type of Rookie Rush does <laughs> people play? And then okay. I'll go Strawby, put Strawby. you to three. Okay. He looks One, at the top. One, two, and whiff. Three, and he has whiff. Oh. Whiff time. And that's three greens. That's yeah, going to hurt. Sometimes those are really, uh, like like Davis. Davis is usually a little bit more consistent at getting his targets. Oh, no, yeah. All right, so that means uh, we go second, so that means we draw, right? We're going to crack our egg. Demi Mera, we're going to evolve here for one. We're going to draw. And we're going to, uh, hmm, he gave us three, huh? He gave us three. Hmm. We're going to evolve for one, go to two, and mm, this one's rough. We don't really have a great, mm, I guess we can do that. Even though it's unfortunate, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyways, but I would really like that draw, but we're not going to get the when digivolving evolving effect. We're just going to be able to go up the chain, and uh, we're just going to have to take that, unfortunately. Hmm. Didn't have like a rookie to play hard cast. All right, so my hope right now is to hit a nail bone early on. Anubismon, boom. Dead. Take down your Digimon. That's and right. that Upamon will not draw a card. That feels good. Yes. That's part of the reason why I didn't want to play a rookie either. Ooh, Gabumon's going to get hit by his purple counterpart. The one issue Rookie Rush does have, it's resources. Um, so you could waste all your resources you only run like 20 20 i mean 25 30 rookies so if you keep expending them and your opponent keeps taking them out there's going to come a point where you can't draw because you don't evolve as much so playing the long game is just bad for rookie rush which a lot of decks do take them to a long game right now um hmm. got a few different options here i think we'll go with the uh i guess we'll go with yeah, we'll go with Metal Guru here for three. Draw a card on Evolution, put you at two. Okay. We are down at three security, though. Let's see. So this Pretty is what, for us. this was what I was talking about right here. Hmm. So first and foremost, I will swing. How dare you. Ooh, Gabumon again in security. Man, I always love getting rookies in security. Hmm. It's not a good thing. Now this is where it comes. How much memory do I want to give you? You can give me all of it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'll, I won't fault you for that. Puppetmon, just do it. I take away. I do take away an attack, but then I give you enough memory to go ultimate, which you do run like five cost ultimate. So ultimate, 
if I do pop him on you, if I had it right now, uh, 9, 10, 11, you could go simply boom, ultimate, and then go boom, Anubis, summon one of them. You could go nail bone. You have two rushes. Oof, that's a lot of damage in one turn. Yeah, that'd be one, two, three confirmed attacks right there. So that'd be kind of dumb. It's part of the reason why purple strives so well against Megazoo. Because oh, yeah. Him, Megazoo gives him eight or ten. And you're like, okay, you're dead. <laughs> So the, the best course would be to positron, Ooh. put you to four, make it so he can't attack. So can at attack. least I take oh, away okay. attack. Okay. That's how I try to view it. How but many you attacks be you able have? To bounce back because you don't have the blue. Yes, but I mean either way, it's not suspended, so I wouldn't oh, be able to right, bounce right, it either right. way. Okay, cool. That's a very important thing to note. Not only do you have to control the color, but um, you can fulfill as much of the cost as or much of the po uh, effect as possible. Yes. It has, like two different effects. Okay, we're gonna take our turn. We're gonna draw. We're gonna hatch an egg. Um, rookie here for us. That was off the Metal Gururumon, so we were able to get that. And so we can attack with the Metal Gururumon. <coughs> we do have an, <coughs> an activation here, which we're probably going to go ahead and do simply because we will get a Lady Devimon effect to pop the mm -hmm. Gururumon anyway. So even though he prevented us from attacking, we can definitely take that pressure away pretty easily, and we will do so here by detaching. Drachmon and uh, Maramon. Digiburst is the official name. Um, mm -hmm. And Lady Devimon's Inherit will activate to destroy the Anubismon, or the um, Auroramon, and we'll play back a... We'll play back this three or four, because this gives us an Inherited when it comes back. And unfortunately, we don't have access to Blocker here. Mm -hmm. But we will have access to Blocker right here. Oof. And the Blocker will now get the Inherited of Draw 2. So if we do end up crashing, we'll get that extra value, plus one. Uh, um... Unfortunate, we are missing a five here, so we can't go like all the way uh, where we want to go. But um, despite that, we might be able to still do a little bit. It really depends on how much time we want to give him. That we don't want to give him too much. Mm, let's see. This is a tough one. This can't attack. These can't attack because they just came out. And. Though it is Rookie Rush, you know, we don't want to give him too much time. How, much, how many cards do you have? You have four? Four. Okay. So, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. We're going to play... I think we're just going to hard cast... Hard, class, hard cast blocker here. This mm -hmm. will allow us to put him at three, which is not too much. But it will provide an actual blocker on board immediately, which is pretty good. Ooh, you might have this game 100%. And we were able to stabilize with some blockers. Unfortunately, we can't get them, you know, until, what was this, turn three or so? But, oh, he has to hard cast the next v <laughs> That's never good. Oh, no. We're going to put them put this guy back here. This is all the same zone, essentially. Mm -hmm. But, um, all right, well, I can't kill him with my inherited... So I'm gonna actually have to like cast a hard bone, um, sorry, a uh, trump sword or something if I wanted to interact with it. Um, let's see, still no fives, so this is pretty unfortunate. We're going to attack security. Oh. Survives. I mean, mostly okay. everything's gonna survive. Yeah. The only thing that we have to be aware of here in security is positron, mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, the flower cannon won't affect our blockers, thankfully. You don't really run Flower Count in this format because oh, it's yeah. just the. Um, I've seen some Rookie Rush players play, yeah. but yeah, it's definitely probably not the. It's not in the best position right now. Because Needle Spray just adds to hand, so you have future plays with it. So I would prefer it over Flower. We're actually going to go in with uh, Marimon simply because we don't have a five. Oh, he survives. That's very good. Um, now we don't want to get too crazy. Um, because we, we still have that looming threat of the security. He can hit a Davis, get back into the game, go to three, have like a Lobomon on, which is really big. It's Lobomon, right? The one that evolves over a team. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but we also, I don't know how we feel about him starting the turn with XVMon. So I think to be safe, we're going to just Trump sort it away mm -hmm. for free. And then we're going to... So at this point, you pretty much have the game. I have no confirmed attacks. I think we're just going to play a Marimon here. Put you through. 
but that puts us in a pretty safe position. The playing around the Pokemon is also good. This also allows us to keep Gazemon out, hmm. which is good because I believe the deck still plays Hammer Spark. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. So Hammer Spark is a good. This is a great little hmm. stopper to that. I've loved this card more and more in testing, but. Have double blocker here, so we're pretty yeah, safe for the most part. But he still has three security, so it's possible that we don't win next turn, even though we do have lethal on board. Hammer spark, wait, no. Oof. He can't. He can't. Oh. Ah. Danny the pro caught off guard. Okay, we're gonna hit a blocker here, I'm assuming. I mean, Hmm. No, I'm gonna hit Marimon. Gonna hit Marimon. Uh, okay. Just because if you do want to evolve and have a swing with it, you would have to take away a blocker for that it. That makes sense. I like that. I like that plan. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start our turn. We're gonna hatch an egg. Uh, no rookies, unfortunately. Um, let's see here. This is such an awkward hand. It just really is. Um, do you give us access to like a pretty nice nail bone ish or trump sword yes trump sword would be fantastic here unfortunately surprise surprise don't have it um i guess like hmm. actually yeah we have a pretty nice play here because we have millennium on oof Sick. So that puts you to two, gets rid of that, and we can choke you. Um, let's see, one, two. Yeah, so I would probably, I drew the rookie there, so that's awesome. And then we can go two and one. Two and one be, would be nice. I don't want to get rid of this Gaze. Gaze, Gaze, Gaze. Mm. Choke you down. We probably could have attacked with the Gaze there. Um, yeah, we probably yeah we should have definitely attacked with the Gaze there. Yeah, because we're still in trouble if there's a, like a Trump Sword. But we do have I mean a, 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 a flower cannon. But we still have purple has a nice way of playing around uh, flower cannon actually because they keep Metal Guru on with its Digi Burst. Have Anubismon out. You attack, attack, attack. Once the coast is clear, you're like, okay, here's another two attackers. Oh, yeah. You don't do that preemptively. You can't, like, oh, make my whole board attack, flower cannon, get body. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. And the desperation calls for oh it. Oh, my God. Mm. This um, being able to puppet while at one is just so broken. Thankfully, we're, we're going to be able to yeah. attack with our top air mount, which is really good. Suspend this Devimon. Okay. We're going to draw. Our field is pretty big. Looking like Magic the Gathering over here. No limit on creature cards in Digimon, which has never become an issue so far. But I know token strategies are going to take off in a couple sets. So oh, yeah. That might be. <laughs> it might take off crazy. Okay. Um... Now we could attack with our blocker. We do have lethal technically here with four attacks. Mm -hmm. This attack will have to make us lose two memory, so it definitely has to be our last attack. Or it doesn't have to in this specific scenario, but um, I'd like to go all the way up to a level six, but I cannot because I'm missing the bridge. I'm missing that five, which seems to be a recurring issue. Actually, four, three, so I can, I can mat you, get back Lady Devimon, Go to three, and then go to six with Anubis Mon and get another attack. That would be sweet. Okay, let's see. We might be able to do that. Let's attack with uh, Top Ear Mon first. Oh, dies. Okay. Draw a card. That just changes our play a little bit, but not too much. Uh, Guys. Mon. in. Dies. Dies. Gazemon in. There's only one card that can save me right now. Positron? Yep. 
No, maybe Rob? not even. No, 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 because I have a new Bismarck. I have, oh, yeah, I yeah. Have, I, have it, I have a way, so I don't think you have any play. Maybe that saves you. It doesn't work, Geisy. Yeah, cool. And then we... No, no. Oh, it gains you two, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Gaze. Oh, So my you would God, just attack for game. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that in security, too. Yeah, so in this game. would kill you. But in the, f in, in the event that you had it, I just drew Matt very late. But I was able... I would have been able to... Matt, get back Lady Devimon. Evolve here for three. Then evolve here for three. Anubis mom bring back rookie, and then I would have had another two attacks. Oh yeah. Only at zero, and because of Gaze, there's no like threat of hammer. Yeah, spark. hammer. But spark. if there was like a puppet, uh, a, a flower cannon or something, obviously the flower cannon couldn't interact with this. But positron or something. Yeah, yeah. I would still be able to get this attack, even though the positron. If you positron, uh, this or or if you positron like this guy, and I evolve over it, he still can't attack. Right? He still can't okay, attack. Cool. So that's our way around positron. If that was positron. Yeah. Wow, sweet game. That was awesome. That's, uh, so this was pretty much just a, a small little exhibition match of like what this matchup would kind of look like. Obviously, give or take, there's some things like you stumbled a little bit. Yeah, you didn't yeah. See Tamer. Um, there was some things that I was stumbling on that I couldn't go, you know, all the way up. But mm -hmm. uh, essentially, this is the type of you know um, content that you'll probably expect on the on the Patreon. It'll be like best two out of threes usually on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll really talk through our plays a little bit more. Here it was just kind of like, hey, let's play a game and show what it's all about. But um definitely little interactions that you want to make sure that you're aware of so when you're playing against those matchups or playing those matchups super fun yeah you want to know what to do what kind of not to do uh, what to expect in security and hand future plays so with these uh you get like a more in-depth of what to expect with matchups yeah and and the deck profiles as well too with the mm -hmm. breakdown it's not just about a deck list you'll see the deck list or free yeah. on youtube but um really knowing why you're playing something yeah, yeah. really goes a distance because I true. can I can copy all the deck lists from Danny and it's true. Want, but it's not gonna it's not gonna do me any yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know why. You won't know what to do, especially when it's a more technical format. Yeah. You wanna know why you're doing stuff. Yeah, and there's a lot of matchups that you gotta be aware of. Especially now it's a pretty diverse matchup. Oh yeah, very, like very at least four decks that I can name that you can take to a tournament with. So. Yeah, it's true. Alright Danny, thank you so much for having hey, me no on apology. the channel. Till next time guys. Keep topping.